Can you see that bruise? I keep forgetting that they can have quite a fast one tomorrow. There's a lady staring at me. Good morning though, it's Monday. I'm just about to start my first client. It's five to seven. So I start with her at seven o'clock and then I think I'm working to about one o'clock today. So yeah, finish at about lunch time. It was like eight degrees this morning, so cold. I'm glad I didn't have a really early start because that would not have been fun. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a weekly vlog this week. Well, I'm going to try because as you all know, I have not been on top of my YouTube game. I haven't been filming at all lately, but it was kind of nice to have a break. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hello again. It's actually been a while since I last spoke to you guys. I think the last time was this morning in the car. So I got home at about quarter past 12, I think, because my last session got, um, I was going to say cancelled, but she's just rescheduled for another day. So I was home a little bit earlier than I thought I would be, which is kind of nice. And to be honest, I've had a little bit of a lazy afternoon. I've kind of been struggling with my energy lately, which is one of the reasons I haven't been filming or editing. But anyway, when I got home, I had some lunch and then I did some admin work on my computer and then I had a bit of a nap, not going to lie. And yeah, I haven't really done anything too productive. So I think I'm going to go do a workout now because I know I'll feel better after that and then I might tidy up my room a little bit not that it's like really messy but it's just I'll show you it's just this so I just have like shoes I need to put away like just there but I take them off there just put them there Zoe and then I've got two baskets of clean washing I need to put away <laughs> so yeah going to do a workout first I've actually been following the Kelsey Wells at home strength program on the sweat app been enjoying that for a little bit of a change I was doing the high intensity strength by Kath on there but yeah I think I'm just enjoying just the normal strength workouts rather than high intensity because of how tired I've been feeling I do need to keep on top of taking my iron tablet more but I just keep forgetting so easy to forget but I made a habit tracker yesterday for this week to hopefully help me do all the things I want to do every day that help make me feel good so I'll show you that so this is the habit tracker I made I just made it on Canva so I've got drink three liters of water take tablets and supplements so that's including my iron and then I've got drink HBT which is hormone balancing tea I drink the hormone balancing tea by PCOS to wellness and I find it really helps my skin and regulating my cycle then I've got workout stretch skincare routine gratitude and journal which as you can see i've already done today and then keep room clean so i still got a few to tick off for today but yeah i just find this like really helps keep me accountable Alrighty, i've now done my workout and I stretch so I can tick those off my habit tracker. I did a back and shoulders workout and now I'm just going to put all these clean clothes away and tidy up my room a little bit before I start cooking dinner. I was already 
to go and just as I was getting in my car I got a text that my first session was cancelled and yes yeah, so my days changed I don't have to work till a little bit later now so I have the morning to myself at home so just going to get a bit of computer work done I think I'll do some programming and I think I might train this morning as well because normally I train when I get home from my sessions but because I have time to train at home this morning. I might do that because I do prefer training in the mornings. Just I don't normally have the time to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just saw Jeff out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Jeffy, are you comfy? He's just out in full glory. <laughs> Her, she's still in bed. They stay in bed for so long because it's so cold in the mornings. That's like the one thing I don't like about winter. I mean, it's not as cold as it is in other places because obviously, I mean, Queensland, it doesn't get as cold. But I mean, in the mornings, it's like seven or eight degrees, which to me is freezing. Like I'm wearing two jumpers right now. And I just don't like how dark it is for so long. Like the days are so short. That's like the one thing I don't like about winter. But during the middle of the day, it's actually so nice. That's why I'm just conflicted about whether I like winter or not. I think overall, I don't like winter. workout it was lower body and core and then I did a bit of stretching and foam rolling after that I don't look sweaty anymore though because I've since hung out some washing outside and put some more washing on so I'm just ticking off well like coloring in my habit tracker for today and I don't think I updated you guys on yesterday's day so I'll show you what it's looking like at the moment when it focuses there we go so yesterday I ticked everything off except water and then today so far i've done workout stretch and i've done my gratitude and my journaling so it kind of annoys my ocd a little bit that the water one isn't like colored in which is why i think this habit tracker is good for me because i like ticking things off and i like everything being ticked off so when it isn't it really annoys me but i don't know i find drinking water like a little bit harder in winter I don't feel like drinking as much and yeah like don't get me wrong I still drink water yesterday I think I had about two liters of water so I was about a liter off and it's kind of because I have clients in the morning as well I don't drink as much water in the morning as I normally would because I don't want to be needing to go to the toilet all the time because obviously I have like back-to-back -back sessions and I don't really have time to go to the toilet so that's probably a bit TMI but it's just the honest truth <laughs> I am now showered and ready for work again <laughs> Jeff I kind of blends into my hair so it's been a little while since I last spoke to you guys since I've been home I I actually went grocery shopping before I came home bought some stuff for dinner because I think I'm going to make two dinners tonight one for tonight and then one for tomorrow as well because Wednesdays are my big days where I'm out all day so I did that I came home I had a call 
with my friend Bailey because I do an online program for her so it was really just a check-in call and we just caught up for a little bit as well and then I did some more programming for my clients and then I've just had a pretty chill afternoon after that to be honest. I watched a YouTube video and then I've just been scrolling on my phone for a little bit as well and yeah now I'm going to go make those dinners. I'm going to make a lasagna. I think we'll have that tonight and then I'm also going to make a sweet and our pork stir fry as well which I'll then take to have tomorrow night at squash but before I do that I actually need to go hang out another little washing but also can we just appreciate this I ticked off all my to-dos today I love that for myself <laughs> And 0% foreign currency. morning i just finished with my first client for the morning it's actually raining today which is fun i don't think i spoke to you guys last night but pretty much after i made like the two dinners so i made lasagna and stir fry as i said i think i ate dinner and then i got ready and went to squash so i had squash last night i actually beat someone i've never beaten before so last two times i've played him i've lost in three and then last night i was down to love again I ended up winning in five. I even was match ball down in the fourth and won 18-16. And then, yeah, I won the fifth quite comfortably because he was quite tired. <laughs> but, yeah, so that was good. My hand got hit. I don't know if you can see. If it wants to focus. Can you see that bruise? You can actually kind of see it on camera, I think. Yeah, my whole hand is, like, swollen and bruised got hit quite hard actually and when I was playing there was like a massive lump on my hand I was like oh no because I had that same sort of lump when I broke my wrist so I was like hopefully I didn't break anything I still don't know if I did I don't think so though like it's still quite tender to touch though but it's very bruised and also last night my uh, phone fell out of my pocket and look I don't know if you can see that there's a line through my screen now so sad I mean I need a new phone anyway but that means I need one even sooner but Will I actually go get a new phone? Who knows? But yeah, just thought I'd update you guys. I'm pretty much back to back with clients until about 1.30 today. I actually, to right now is like my biggest gap. I have about half an hour until my next client. So that's my biggest gap. And then yeah, I have clients until 1.30. And then after that, I have a little bit of a gap. And then I have squash coaching. And I think a few people are watching the State of Origin at Squash Tonight as well, because it's the first State of Origin game tonight. For those of you who don't know, it's like a rugby league match. Um, and it's Queensland versus New South Wales. A little bit tired. Wednesdays are always a bit rough because they're, um, they're my longest day and I normally have a late night at squash the night before so I have a late night and then a long day the next day so it's always a little bit rough but that's okay I think I got home at about quarter past 11 last night so I think by the time I showered and got to bed it was I don't know 11 30 maybe 20 to 12 and then I was up at 5 a.m. so didn't have the longest sleep last night okay it's 1 30 now I'm finally finished my personal training sessions for this morning and I've just parked near park, park, near park um, to have lunch I've just brought some leftover lasagna doesn't look good in this but because I kind of like squished it in there I packed it in like a cold bag with like three ice packs to keep it cold and I don't mind cold lasagna either so but my, my knife and fork are really cold as well so yeah I'm oh, I can take this off yeah I'm just gonna sit here and eat this hopefully I don't spill any on my white jumper that'll be a very me thing to do if I do that and I'm just listening to a what we said podcast episode oh very dark that helped not really. It's very backlit, isn't it? Anyway, 
I'm going to eat my lunch now and then I have a little bit of a gap now between now and squat but I normally just like read a book for a little bit like it's not enough time for me to go home and then go to squash if that makes sense because we don't live that close to squash if we live closer to squash I'd be able to go home so hopefully soon I'll be able to do that hello sorry about the lighting oh no I just <laughs> I literally just got to a pile of road where there's no lights. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Here's some lights. Okay, there's a little bit of light every now and then as I pass. Anyway, it's Thursday night. I don't think I've spoken to you guys yet today. Not for any particular reason. I, I had a client session this morning. I don't normally on a Thursday, but it was one of the ones rescheduled from... Monday. Rescheduled from Monday to this morning. So I had that this morning and then I went straight from there to squash training. And I was at squash training for about two hours and then I was meant to go to a house inspection because if you didn't watch my last video, Dave and I are actually looking for a place to rent. So I was going to go to a house inspection but it got cancelled. So I ended up just going straight home and had some lunch and I was going to film but I realised I left my camera the car behind me, that lights are very bright. Um, yeah, I left my camera in the car, so I was like, I'm not going back down to the car. <laughs> so I didn't film anything, but I didn't do too much this afternoon anyway. I just did programming. I swear I do that every day, but I did some programming. I did some emails. I did a little bit of like a workout. It wasn't really a workout, but it was kind of just to move my body because I was feeling a little bit sore. And then I did a whole lot of stretching. I've actually got a really sore hip today. I think my glutes are tight, so it's kind of pulling. Um, so I need to fix that. I ran out of time to continue working on that at home because I had to cook dinner and eat dinner. And I also caught up on Big Brother a little bit as well. I don't know if I just said that. But yeah, I caught up on Big Brother, so... Yeah, that's about all I got up to today. It wasn't a very busy day or anything like that. I keep forgetting that Dave and I fly to Gladstone tomorrow. I haven't even packed. It just keeps slipping my mind. Like, not that I'm not excited to go, but because we're going to Sydney next week and other people from Squash are going to Sydney with us because it's for a tournament. And people have been talking about that and we've been talking about Sydney. And so I've kind of, like, this trip kind of just slipped my mind because they're so close together. We're only home for two days in between them. So, yeah, we fly to Gladstone tomorrow afternoon. So I have two sessions in the morning and then I have to pack, go to the airport and fly to Gladstone. So tomorrow might be kind of busy because I have to squeeze that all into a couple of hours. So, yeah, that should be fun. But... Anyway, if you're wondering why I'm in the car, I'm on my way to squash fixtures right now. I have these squash fixtures on Thursday nights as well. It's the last night of like the actual season tonight and next week's finals. But my Thursday team won't be in the finals. They'll have to score next week, but I'll be away. I'm gonna miss scoring. I mean, I'm not sad about it, but I kind of feel bad because, yeah. Anyway, that's my update. That was actually a lot longer than I intended it to be. I feel like this whole vlog has been kind of a mess. I'm, yeah, still not used to being vlogging again. Hence why, like, every time I'm vlogging, I'm either, like, at home in my room or I'm in the car. It's, like, the only two times I've been vlogging this whole week. So sorry about that. So if it's boring. Like, I was going to film some of my training today and it just didn't happen. And... I was going to film this afternoon at home, but I left my camera in the car. I'm not doing very well. I might talk to you guys later tonight or, yeah, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, it's Friday. I'm home from my sessions now. I've just made myself like a, I don't even know what to call it, like a melt. I put a piece of toast, ham, tomato, onion, and cheese in the griller to melt the cheese. And then, of course, I made myself a collagen and magnesium hot chocolate. So I'm just going to have these and then I'm going to start packing for Gladstone because we have to leave in a couple of hours. You're gone now, will you call me back? Yeah, I know that, yeah, I know that You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact Yeah, I know that mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places I hope it means that you come home to me Once you travel the world, all the space 
I realize I didn't end off this vlog and I'm actually in Sydney now it's the next week I didn't really film anything on the weekend because as you saw we were up in Gladstone with Dave's family and we were only there for one full day so we really just wanted to spend time with his family and I didn't bring out my camera at all I think I filmed a few things on my phone but that was about it so sorry about the end of this vlog it kind of just cut off all of a sudden I hope you enjoyed it anyway I'm actually in Sydney now for squash, so that'll be my next vlog. But yeah, if you did make it this far, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.